Here's a brief demo of the uh, Sprout Fund donation box we built here at Tech Shop Pittsburgh. Uh, just some quick features about it. Basically, uh, what they asked us for was a donation box that would allow some sort of interactive functionality uh, using a microcontroller and some sort of sensor. We chose to go with an ultrasonic uh, distance sensor, which is mounted down here in the base, uh, and an Arduino, which we'll show you in a minute. But just for the functionality uh, and the interactivity, uh, basically we have LEDs lighting up their logo on the inside in an acrylic box on an acrylic uh, sheet uh, for their logo. And if you watch, if I step away from this, let's see if I can get it, there's a lot of other stuff in the way as well, but if I step away from it and nobody's in front of it within about 10 or 15 feet, let's see. You see, uh, if, if nothing's in front of it, um, it just stays lit completely. It's not until the passerby walks within range that it starts to blink and draw attention to the donation box, hopefully uh, saying, give me money, give me money. Um, to see the inside of the box, we're going to just lift it up from the base. We used the uh, ShopBot to route out this wooden base, which was made of reclaimed lumber. Uh, you can see the ultrasonic sensor up here, wired down into the Arduino Uno down here. Uh, then we have our four blinking LEDs uh, soldered together in parallel, and a 9-volt battery powers it all. Uh, the ultrasonic sensor uh, is not the standard 3-pin parallax, but a 4-pin with a trigger and an echo pin. Um, and they go into 7 and 8 on the Arduino Uno. Basically the code is such that if someone walks within a certain range, uh, go to the pulsing um, code versus else uh, just stay on high. So that is the donation box we made for Sprout Fund here at Tech Shop Pittsburgh.